little too much tippet on. I switched to nymphs. Got the good old Duracell on the point and a Frenchie up on the dropper. Let's do some of the tie lining here. And after I've fished this pretty well, I'm gonna throw an Indy on and fish those seams further out. I might do some split shot. Just not getting down all that fast. Definitely in contact with the flies much earlier with that weight on there. This pocket water is moving quicker than it looks. Ooh. Was a hit right in front of that rock. Woo! Jamie's on another one. Such a good drift. The fish are just further up in this run. Let's see if I can get over there. Yeah, here we go. Rock there. Oh, went right through it. I'm actually surprised that there are no fish this far back. This water is still really nice. Care if I fish right on your butt? You have split shot on? Yeah. No. All right, I caught a fish again on a nymph. Or I hooked it. What do we got him on here? Frenchie for the win. Cute. All right, I can still nymph. Oops, there's one. Yo! Yeah. Ooh. That was aggressive. Beautiful. I've got him. Oh man, this fish is just so clean. Other than him missing one of his pectoral fins, that's kind of a bummer for him. Take the Indy off. I can tie life in this better. It's just all pretty close. I don't need to cast far enough away, far away from me, just pretty much right here. Ooh, there's one. Got that guy in the Frenchie. Cool.
starting to get tired. Feeling not nearly as talkative. Some pretty cool pocket water right here. Seems like I should be able to find somebody in here. fish. Ate it on the drop. There's one. <laughs> he ate it right as it hit the water. Nice. Got that one on the Duracell. There she is. Or something. This one feels a little more decent. Oh yeah. About the same size, but boy. This male is just he's so aggressive and he's all colored up. It's really cool. Got him on the Frenchie. the orange and neon because I cannot see the green quite as well in this glare. Something to consider. Just trying different colors, seeing what kind of color uh, you can see best. So I can definitely see pink and orange better than I can see chartreuse or you know green, yellow. There we go. Nice. See, that's an example. I couldn't quite tight line up into that spot. Awesome. Size so thick. She took the Frenchie. Super cool. There's one. Yeah, a little tiny sucker. It was right in the glare and I wasn't sure if it went down. I sat and there was a fish on it. Oh geez. Oh, is it still on? Yeah, it is. Well, I was about to recast and I thought that might be a fish on there. Heck. <sighs> Luckily, that was pretty painless. Jeez. I'm not gonna lie, my arm is a little bit sore after that. There's one. Tiny little fish. It's cool though. Oops. Something tiny is on. Or is it? Just doesn't know it's caught. Down 
tree in there. I want to try to get close, but you never know what's hidden underneath. Usually it's fish. It's doubled up. Let's get that punchy out of your mouth. Pretty nice fish. Fish number 20. Let's see if there's another one chilling over by that tree. Maybe he ticked twice. Nice! A good fish. Whoa, that is a fish, a decent one. Fish. That was fun. That one played pretty hard. Finally. This fish feels decent. It's not huge, but definitely got got some girth yeah Frenchy this fish had some cool markings on her stomach I don't know if you can see that very cool
Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching part two of this series on the pit. Uh, the last one, if you haven't seen it, is me fishing this water on streamers. I kind of devoted the whole first half of the day to streamers, hooked into lots of fish, but unfortunately lost a bunch too because, I don't know, I was having problems with the hook I chose to tie on and uh, it's a long story, go watch the video, you can hear all about it. And the nymphing was very typical Pitt River nymphing. I mean, you see a pocket, you see where there's a rock in the water, you would think there'd be a fish in front of it or behind it, and there usually is. As long as you can get a good drift, get, the, get your flies down deep, get right in front of the fish, down in the strike zone, you usually will get an eat. And uh, it's super fun. The, the only challenge obviously is waiting. This section of the water I fished before, not too long ago actually, and I tried to you know, really focus on my technique because I find that in the second half of the days I tend to get kind of tired and start making sloppy mistakes. So I was really trying to fish hard, stay on my game, you know, target some of these pockets I, I might have just walked past and I actually found some fish. In fact, in the middle of the video there was a spot kind of where the sun was hitting me and the fish were kind of all tucked in this one pocket and I had to my, sort of work my way out into the water where they were at. And once I found them, I hooked three or four, maybe even five fish out of this one spot. And that kind of thing is always really satisfying for me. Uh, in fact, that was one of the realizations when I switched from traditional spinner fishing over to fly fishing was I found that when I fly, or spinner fished, I caught a fish maybe two on a rare occasion out of one hole. Or fly fishing, if I had good presentations, I could pull fish after fish after fish out of the same spot. And that's basically you know, what happened in that one hole. And then at the end, there was this long sort of tail out below some uh, like a plunge pool in a way. I try to fish farther back. It's kind of hard to get down the bank because it's bouldery. And that's where I fell down, smashed my arm. Uh, luckily, I'm okay. It just lasted for a few minutes. But, you know, it's there's some hidden hazards like a down tree or rocks, and there's some tufts of grass that kind of want to eat your flies and not let them back. But kind of cast out to some sections at the very end that are very difficult to cast out into, and I found some good fish there. So uh, that's the kind of river, like I said, you're going to want to wade hard fish hard, take your time, get out to some spots where you think the fish are. If you can get to them, you'll find fish, I guarantee it. It's a very, very productive river. So last time I fished here, the Duracell was the fly of choice, and I started with that on my rig, but I found quickly that the fish were really looking for that thread Frenchie. You know when the fish are coming up consistently to get that fly up on the dropper, you know that's something they're keyed into and looking for, and uh, I probably could have run a double Frenchie off uh, rig and really killed it doing that, but I decided to leave that Frenchie and then I don't remember this, the bottom fly, I think I changed it several times, but they just kept coming up for that Frenchie. So uh, goes to show, just have lots of flies in your arsenal, rotate through them. Some days they'll be keyed into fly one and then the next day they'll be on fly two. Uh, you just got to be ready, experiment, and when they're in, when you find what they're into, uh, it can be lights out and that was pretty much the case today. As I said, that fly is available in the shop, pick it up today, I've got them in stock. If you have any other questions, leave them down in the comments. If you like the video, consider subscribing. Like the video, of course. And until next time, everybody, I'll see you on the water. Godspeed.